Hello brothers and sisters, how are you doing? Thank you very much for watching my channel, The Great Apostate. It is that time of the month again. It is July, the sun is shining everywhere in the world except Australia. I am on holiday in Turkey, all being well. I'm making this video a little bit early just before I leave. What a day. Uh, it is that time, it is my favorite, favorite video. It is Mean Tweets for July. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. So, as you know, I like to take the mean things that Jehovah's Witnesses send me as personal messages and then bring it back to them. This, ladies and gentlemen, are the Jehovah's Witnesses that I know and love. This is the, the attitude that we always displayed. So, here we come from the first July mean tweet from African Come Son. African Come Son? That's a cool name. You need more physical exercise. Every time I see you, you're in that lazy chair. It's a nice chair. I need a new one. It's getting old, this chair. And you think you can criticize all the world. While you are playing with your Easter eggs and singing your Christmas songs, witnesses expect a new world that God has promised and will destroy all the evil. But I guess that does not attract you. No, it does not attract me at all because I don't want 7 billion people killed to achieve it. African comes, son. Harold Kingland. He just hits me with a real quick one. What a waffling idiot. I love it. I love it. You're quite right. Okay, and I... I made a bit of a mistake with my videos. I decided that I was going to ban Brother Keith Larson, who is an epic asshole. Oh, I'm going to have the last dribble there. Uh, horrible human being. Turns out that I didn't ban him. All I did is block me from seeing his comments. And he was busy commenting away. Ugh, horrible thought. But I got a few more of his comments I wanted to share you with. Brother Keith's wisdom and his Jehovah's Witness love. It is either Jehovah or Satan. You have to pick a side. Now let me tell you this, your very life depends on the choice you make today. <sighs> Snake oil salesman, come buy some of my fabulous contabulating medicine. So don't take me lightly or dismiss my medicine, my message to you as the ramblings of a sentimental religious fool. No, a bigoted fuckwit, that's what I would have called you. Pay attention to this, Jehovah God wants to reward you with eternal life in paradise, but Satan wants you to die at Armageddon. Which one sounds like your friend? Well, the one who's not killing me would be my friend, wouldn't he? Which would be not Jehovah, because he's, he's sending his son to kill me. Jehovah doesn't want you to die at Armageddon, but he might have to kill you. Of course, it is God who's your friend. So don't be ignorant and stubborn. Call on the name of God right now and ask him to send a Jehovah's Witness to your door this weekend. Well, it's going to be rainy this weekend. And um, I have plans, and they do not involve my child being sexually abused. So I'm sorry, Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't have time for you. I will break into something. Oh, I will break something laughing, as you are burnt at Armageddon. Yes, that will be a fine comedy for all of us who remain faithful to our Heavenly Father. You know, some people have accused me of actually saying that these are, that saying that these are not Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, recently, a girl came on and said, I am a Jehovah's Witness. But these are terrible comments. Please stop doing this, Jehovah's Witnesses, because she knew that they were Jehovah's Witnesses. You can tell. You can sniff them out. You are listening. You people are listening to the lies and hideous whispers of demons. They are sitting next to you right now. Oh! No, no, it's nobody there. It's okay. It's no demons. Shh, we'll talk later. They are sitting next to you right now, urging you to rebel against God. And inciting you to immorality, divination, and other evil works. Pray out loud to Jehovah God, and these evil spirits will flee from you. I love it. What do Jehovah's Witnesses think we apostates do with our lives? I was cleaning carpets today, and then I had a doctor's appointment, and then I had to go to the credit union. Uh, but seriously, no, at no point in that day did I have the... Oh, I went to my son's sports day. He got a second and a first. Awesome. At no point in that day did I have any time for immorality, more's the pity, divination or other evil works. I maybe cut a few people up in traffic. I don't think that qualifies. I implore you to return to the Kingdom Hall. You made a big mistake by walking away. A big mistake. But the good news is that the doors of the hall are open. Unless they lock them. <laughs> like Mike and Kim pointed out they do as soon as the meetings start. And I'm sure the brothers and sisters will welcome you back. I would not want to be welcomed back by them. If I can provide any guidance, please don't have, hesitate to contact me. Ah, imagine a human being would want that prick's guidance. Now, he said this to a lovely lady called Rebecca. She said, she was talking about one of my videos and how I said that it was grief did this. 
you know, Jehovah's Witness, they're like grief vampires. They just pounce on grief and say, oh, you'll see them in the new system. Quick, come to the meetings. And she said, that's how I got suckered in. Lost my grandma lad that year. Five months later, Jehovah's Witnesses at my door. And I was suckered in. Glad I'm awake to the cult. And he wrote, Rebecca, I have prayed on the matter. And I've decided that I would like to be personally responsible for your return to the Kingdom Hall. Won't you let me guide you? Just take my hand. Take my, take my penis. <laughs> He sounds like a creepy pedophile. You can, we can have a Bible study online right here on YouTube. Oh, please let me take you away from Satan and return you to the presence of Jehovah God. Jehovah God does not dwell in earthly buildings, dipshit. Are you a filthy sinner? Do you dwell in the dank wickedness of your own immorality? Are you not a hog who roots in uncleanness and degradation? As I said, no, more's the pity. Look at the watchtower. It is surely your only hope. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is a good one. That's a very filthy, perverse and disrespectful thing to say. I can't wait for you and your defective family to be destroyed at Armageddon. I will relish your last moments on earth. You will never see paradise. And I will shit on your corpse. I read this to my wife because I was so I thought this was so funny and she just stopped she went whoa wait there Neil I was never a Jehovah's Witness I'm not defective I can still join <laughs> you fill your boots my love you can join if you want <laughs> now that is the last of my mean tweets but there was a, a separate mean tweet I wanted to bring up right and that is there was actually a ex Jehovah's Witness who's he's got like he's like he's like Subscribe to all of us who make these videos. John Cedars, Mike and Ken. I'm not going to say his name, but you know who you are if you see this video. And his comment on one of my videos just today, right? Well, I, which I removed, by the way, was not, Hey, thanks for going to the trouble of making videos. You could do so many other things with your life on a sunny day. His comment was to point to the YouTube blocker app on your Google Chrome. The ad blocker. Now... So I'm very sorry that the one penny that I am making off you, mate, is really that's tough. I'm sorry that you have to sit through that five second intro, right? What do you think I'm doing with the money, dickhead? Do you think that I'm running around, spending it on whores and cocaine? I bought beds for my children with that money. Do not set, put stuff on my page telling people, oh, here's a great way where you can make me work for free, okay? I do these because I like doing them, but let me tell you, my kids like sleeping in a new bed too. So thank you very much for watching The Great Apostate. Like and subscribe if you like and subscribe. And, you know, click on an ad now and then. Thanks very much. Bye.